real estate agents accused of treating homeowners like imbeciles. Authorities are targeting their rampant pricing tricks that mislead buyers. Tinika Everett's been following the story and joins me live. Tinika. Thanks, Tracy. It's one of the dirtiest tricks of the trade, and for some families, it's shattered their great Aussie dream. It's all about rogue real estate agents who tell fibs. And as you're about to see, it happens all too often, but there are ways to protect yourself. What they call in the industry bait advertising. Oh, you get your heart broken. Oh. You're dragging a lot of buyers out who haven't got a chance in the world of buying that house. Quote them low and watch okay. them go. The harm is that the consumer gets burnt in the process. But it's not just the loss of the house they can't afford, it's the loss of the dream. It's real estate roulette where the agent wins and potential buyers are left heartbroken. But now authorities are fighting back, launching a blitz on bad agents. This is a serious uh, offence. Really, really frustrated. It is very frustrating and quite, can be quite disempowering as well. Jen's been in the market to buy her first home for two long years. People are driving around Melbourne for 100 k's on the weekend to go and visit the house and, and, and then often paying for inspections or getting their friends to come visit the house and a whole month long campaign often with the advertising of these houses to buy it and then realising that you were never in the running. She's fed up and not alone. I say they say one thing and then they mean another. I don't think it's fair at all. It demoralises people really because if you go go yeah I can afford this and it goes for two hundred thousand dollars more, it's it's just wrong. I guess it's not being very uh, open with the customer. It's called underquoting and it's illegal. Put in simple terms, it's when an agent advertises or tells a potential buyer that a property is for sale for less than the vendor is willing to accept. And if an offer has been rejected, the agent can't advertise the property for less than that amount and should amend the price guide. Real estate agents will typically underquote because they believe, and this is, I, I believe, a false belief, that it attracts more buyers to an auction. The problem with this is it attracts the wrong buyers. It attracts people who actually can't aff afford the property. Josh Rowe is CEO of property prediction website Realize. The, the reality is the people who are selling the property, real estate agents, uh, are very experienced people and do know their own property markets. Their latest data shows if you're bidding in Sydney, you're more likely to be frustrated. The most inaccurately priced suburb is Eastwood, where properties sell on average for 18.5% more than the agent quote, followed by Blue Haven, Dremoyne, Hurstville and Merriweather. The other hotspots are in Melbourne. In Heathmont, the sold price is 26.2% above the quoted price. Braybrook, Heidelberg West, Ringwood and Hyatt are also big for inaccuracies. We are seeing too many instances where the advertised price is just well below uh, reality. And so authorities are clamping down on the agencies shattering the dreams of Aussie buyers. To sell people false hope and false dreams is a disgrace and that's why we are cracking down. Minister for Consumer Affairs Victoria Jane Garrett says investigators have raided the offices of real estate agencies seizing documents. We now have about a thousand files open and we have 10 major investigations into underquoting underway and we have a prosecution uh, now commenced in our courts. Hocking Stewart in Melbourne's Richmond has been charged with underquoting on 11 properties. Here's what Consumer Affairs alleges. For this place, the agent estimated the owners would get between $640,000 and $700,000. They told the vendor they wanted to create the illusion of a bargain. It sold for $891,000. This one, the owners were told the place would likely fetch between $850,000 and $900,000, but it was advertised initially at $700,000 to $770,000. Sold price, $950,000. $55,000. While the owner of this property was given an estimate of $900,000 to $1 million, the terrace was initially advertised at $800,000 to $880,000. The owner got more than $1.1 for it. It can happen once, it can happen twice, 11 times. Well, I guess the lawyers will have to earn their keep on this one. I think the Victorian government want to see someone prosecuted 
to send a clear message to all the other agencies. In New South Wales, they're also on the front foot. Real estate consumer advocate Robert Claric explains the recent changes to the law. That means the agent now, when they quote a price, they can only quote within 10% of what a property is expected to sell for and what they've put in the agency agreement. So it needs to actually line up. They can't just pluck a figure from the air. And if they do the wrong thing... The Department of Fair Trading can fine them $22,000 and also take away their commission, which I think is the only way to get the attention of the estate agents. Until that happens, there are ways to outsmart the agents. So before rocking up to an open for inspection, whether it be for a private sale or an auction anywhere in Australia, people can go to realas.com and find out what a property is going to sell for, and we get right within 5% on average right across Australia. Uh, this is an unprecedented crackdown on underquoting in our real estate industry. Uh, we are sending a very, very clear message to real estate agents. You don't know when we'll be knocking on the door, but we will go through all of your files and where we find wrongdoing, we will take it forward. Hocking Stewart declined our request for an interview. You can read the company's statement in full on our website.